so so who helped you with that stuff? What what was like what inside of you said, yes, it's worth taking this risk to open the gym? I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't have fear when it comes to something that I feel deep down that I want to do. Okay. Once I feel it and I know it, I just know that I have to do it. So I tried multiple times to open up my own. Um, I tried okay. several years ago, about eight, nine years ago, and I wasn't able to raise the money. I was going to do, do it with a partner. It didn't work out. Mm -hmm. But um, my wife got pregnant with our first son. So my, I got ramped up. I started working like a, like a, like a, like a crazy person, you know, <laughs> kids will um, do that for you. Cause immediately I was like, Oh, I gotta, you gotta pay for college. I gotta pay. So I started working. I started, I cut my, my sleep cut, got cut down. I started sleeping four hours a night and I would work. I would do sometimes 15 sessions a day. Wow. And um, for the first year of doing that, I averaged 55 sessions a week. That's incredible. And then so that went up to 60 hours of sessions. Working. Yeah. And that's 55 hours of doing sessions. Right. And, you know, well, you, you might have, have an hour here, day. hour there. Yeah. yeah. So um, I started putting money away just in case. Mm -hmm. With the, always in the back of my mind that I wanted to have my own. I want to have my own. And um, uh, one day, a trainer who, and I, this, this is a note to everyone, be nice to everybody you meet. Ah. A trainer that I would always run into at another in, independent gym. And I was always cool. Like, I'd talk to him, ask questions. And he worked at this gym that I own now. And mm -hmm. uh, one day, he said to me, listen, the, the, the guy that owned the gym is having some financial difficulty. I think you might be able to buy, this, buy the gym. And I was like, get out wow. of here. You know, like, I, I didn't think I could, and I had to, you know, be able to. Mm -hmm. So a couple of weeks go by, he comes back and he's like, listen, I really think you can do this. I said, you know what? Make, make the connection. And he introduced us and long story short, he started at a number here and I had a number way, way down here. And uh, we started negotiating and we met in the middle and, uh, and I bought the gym and it was a dream come true, but it needed a lot of work. So right. I was training clients at, at a gym that was about, um, it was about five, about five, eight minutes away, eight minute walk. Okay. So literally I would train clients and I would have like an hour and a half break. I would run over here. I taught myself how to cut tiles using wow. a, a, um, a table saw. I never used a table saw in my life. The first time I turned it on, of course, because you're I, a computer. I, uh, it was exa exactly. You're an the IT. first time I turned on the first time I turned on a table saw, I turned it off. It was the <laughs> scariest thing I ever ever seen. I was like, I'm gonna cut off every finger. I'm gonna cut off my arms. It was crazy. So I, um, I was like, I'm either gonna cut this tile or I'm not gonna have my own gym. Cause I talked to um, um, contractors and they were all quoting me like $80,000, $50,000. Wow. I was just like, screw that. Yeah, I'm gonna it. figure this right. out. I'm gonna do it myself. So literally right. I would have an hour and a half break. I would run over here, cut some of the rubber tiles, put them down on the floor run back to the gym, I would have bits of rubber like all over me. So I just dust off, wow. run back to the gym, train clients, run back here. And I would be, I, I would be done with sessions at eight o'clock at night and I would run over here and I would work till like midnight, go home, sleep for maybe two, three hours, be back at the gym. My first session was at 5 a.m. Wow. And once again, so just, I want to, I want to, 